Hi guys, believe it or not, fall is upon us. Yay. The official start of fall is a couple days from now. Um, here in Charleston, we aren't experiencing technical fall weather, but it is it's cooling down. Better. Better. It is cooling down for sure. So we are feeling the urgency to kind of transition our wardrobes and to find more fall fabrics and some more layering pieces and things like that. So mm -hmm. our spring swatch video was so popular. We got such a positive response from so many of you who really enjoyed seeing the fabrics and seeing how they moved. Um, that we thought we would do one for fall as well. So again, we have partnered with Stylemaker Fabrics for this. She sent us a ton of swatches from her new fall line that she has um, been uploading for the past few weeks. Um, so today we're kind of just gonna go through them and show you them and talk about what we would make and we haven't peaked yet, so right. we don't really know what's in here, so we thought maybe it'd be fun to share with you yeah. guys for the first time. So We wanted y'all to get our instant reaction yes. to them. So we're super excited. Okay, so first up, we have a rayon chalet, and it looks like the first few of these are going to be in this like cranberry burgundy colorway, which I just love for fall. Yeah. It's one of my favorite colors all the time, so I get real excited when I start to see it yeah. um, in the fall. So it's a nice geometric design, the cream, mm -hmm. black. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, it it's is. Soft and drapey. A yeah. little on the sheer side. Definitely for a top. Yeah, it would be a good long sleeve, mm -hmm. like top with a collar and cuffs, or um, gosh, even just the blue box top. Yeah. Would be Super nice. simple. Yeah. Next this one is gorgeous. <laughs> yes, it's a rayon crepe. And you'll see on Thursday, I am posting um, my portion of the blog tour and this is one of the fabrics that I got for it. So you'll get to see what I made from it. Um, it really was a dream to work with. It pressed so really well and the pattern that I chose is really intricate with lots of darts and pleats and it had a lot of different steps to it. So, um, you know, finding a lighter weight drapier fabric that could hold up to all of that um, was really nice. Yeah. So. I'm buying this one. I was torn. <laughs> oh, choosing fabric for the post. This, uh -huh. one, this one's awesome. Yeah, it was really nice. I really like <laughs> the way it turned out. Yeah. So what's next? Italian wool blend knit. What do you think? Very of this? nice. This one's very stable. Very classy kind of looking mm -hmm. to it. Wouldn't make a nice fitted skirt. Yeah, like an alley skirt yeah. maybe. If you yeah. did some cute like brown. Um, not, I want to say turquoise, what it, tortoise shell buttons. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of stretch to it though, yeah. so definitely keep that in mind that it would. Well, I think the alley skirt is made for woven. Woven, so yeah, yeah this would, I think, would be appropriate for I a think woven pattern for cute. sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be a nice, or a structured um, little cardigan. Yeah, that would look cute too. Yeah, like a yeah. little open blazer. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Yeah. Yeah, love that. And this is just an Italian, this is a bottom weight suiting, mm -hmm. not Italian, but bottom Got weight. Got a little bit of stretch to it. Yeah. So a little bit. So, so pants. Yeah. What are the pants you just made? The ultimate trousers, maybe mm -hmm. for The that? ultimate trousers, they call for non-stretch, but this is so minimal, I think it'd be fine. Yeah. So that's really, really nice. Got some texture to it. Yeah. Do, have you ever made, like, um, it would also be cute as, like, one of those, I'm picturing, like, Banana Republic style. Um, like where it's really fitted with bust darts and waist darts mm -hmm. and then like a pencil skirt mm -hmm. dress. Yeah. That would be yeah, cute. Yeah, a nice fitted dress. Yeah. Yeah. That would be really nice. And then this is a plaid double, double knit, knit in an argyle print. Very similar stretch to the other one we just showed you. It is, um, really kind of feels to this. really the same. Yeah. This one's definitely a little thicker. Than this yeah, one. I wonder if this because has wool in it maybe, and Probably. this one doesn't. This one doesn't. It has a little bit of a sheen to mm -hmm. it, like a it maybe does. a poly sheen or something. Yeah. But so that's really things, pretty. Do yeah. these things match? Yeah, a lot of thinking like a lot of these things go together. That's like, how super cool cute. Would be to use that together either as a separate. Yeah, or if you did piping out of this one, that would be really nice. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah. Cute. Very cool. Yeah, we love those together. I do. I'm <laughs> those are your colors. I don't wear yeah. those colors a lot. I feel like they wash me out. But really? like I'm just looking at you and they look great on you. I don't think yeah. they wash you out no. at all. I'm never drawn to them. I feel like 
That and oh, red. I love them. <laughs> love them, love them. Okay, next up is just a double, double gauze, gauze, which might be kind of odd for fall. Don't you normally think of gauze in like spring and summer because yeah. it's so lightweight? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think how to incorporate in for a Maybe just a blouse? Fall. Yeah, a blouse. Feels different than any double gauze I've ever oh, felt really? before. Yeah, it's definitely thinner and softer. It's very soft. Yeah, so it's got more drape to it. Mm -hmm. Definitely a different feel because I've sewn with the Nanny Iro uh -huh, double uh -huh. gauze and it feels a lot softer than that. Just a, like a layering piece, I yeah. guess. Okay. French, French cherry. cherry. This is Abby's. I, I think next French to cherry. Rayon Shally, French, <laughs> French cherry. French cherry. I love French cherry. I love being comfy cozy, especially fall. I just love putting on something that feels good and cozy. So this is a, a really a light weight one. It was just like a jersey knit, but definitely French terry, um, the looped backing. So I would think just like a simple t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. Yep, long sleeve t-shirt mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Uh, maybe even a scarf if you're into mm -hmm. making scarves. Yeah, it's really easy one year project. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a long sleeve tee mm -hmm. type of material for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Very soft. Yeah. This one's kind of interesting. It's a, just some suiting, just but some it has suiting. interesting colors. Mm -hmm. Like it has that really light blue mm -hmm. and then almost like a burnt orange, black mm -hmm. and tan. Mm -hmm. So not your usual average suiting colors, I don't yeah. think. I don't get very dressy for work, so I don't get to do a lot of kind of the suiting yeah, I don't type either. fabrics. I don't either, but it's, I could see it in like cigarette pants. Mm -hmm. I can see the same kind of Banana Republic fitted dress. Mm -hmm. I can see... You know, just those, it's it's lighter weight, so I don't know that it would make a great jacket necessarily, yeah. but, um, and the and the plaid, I don't know about a plaid, this kind of plaid jacket. Yeah, because it's a pretty small kind of yeah. plaid. I don't know. I don't know either. Could. We don't wear a lot of suits around yeah. here, which you can tell. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> What's this one? This is just a flannel. Yeah. Definitely heavier weight. It feels really nice. I like the colors in this one. So would that make a cute jacket, you think? Like a, with a hood and everything? I like the yeah, purple you could. in it, obviously. I mean, I think you could even make it a button-up if you live somewhere where it's, you know, mm -hmm. pretty cold. But it's definitely a heavier weight one. Yeah. You yeah. could make a skirt, too. Yeah, that's skirt. true. Yeah. With the lining. Mm -hmm. It is really soft. Mm -hmm. It feels it's very nice. soft. It feels nice. Cute. What's next? A rayon, rayon chalet. So this one has a single border on it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, our sample didn't get um, any of that. So I'm not 100% sure. Unless this is what on the border. happens. Oh, and the rest is navy? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Could be. Yeah. This one's got some texture to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit different feeling than your typical rayon chalice. Almost chalice. creepy. Yeah, it feels like a, it's just like not as a soft, like buttery, like. Yeah. But it does have that amazing, well, it's a little bit heavier weight, too. Yeah. Still drapey, though. Mm -hmm. Again, this is going to, this would actually be cute as, like, a long sleeve button-up, but dress. Yeah. And then yeah. you could pair it with, like, you could put a vest over it mm -hmm. or, you know, obviously mm -hmm. leggings, mm -hmm. that kind of look with your yeah. boots. This would be really pretty as that, I think. I don't know yeah. that I was originally drawn to this print, but picturing it as, like, a shirt dress, mm -hmm. I think it'd be really cute. Mm -hmm. Lovely. This one's really pretty. I like this one a lot. This is... Yeah, where are we? I think we're on the brown crepe. crepe. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I think... I love that, like, painted stroke uh -huh. look of yeah. it. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yep. And it has my favorite color in yes. it. Yes. Yep. But also, like, mustards mm -hmm. and yellow I and browns. Mustards. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, gosh, you know, matching up vertical and horizontal stripes can be such a nightmare but so maybe really like pretty. a simple blouse yeah one that doesn't have a lot of pieces to it mm -hmm. maybe like a even like a cute little peasant top yeah peasant top cute. or like a is it is it no it's a little bit sheer so mm -hmm. yeah maybe another loop box top <laughs> i know loop box top is our go-to for loop anything loop box top <laughs> yeah yeah that's i like the print though a yeah lot. that's really yeah. pretty so, okay. so she has a bunch of these sweater knits in a bunch of different colors. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see the this same thing repeated mm -hmm. throughout yeah. the video. This is what she calls rust. rust. It's really so. pretty. Yeah, it's a really nice sweater knit. Pretty light mm -hmm. weight. Um, let's make a nice top. Yeah, yeah. That really is about all these can mm -hmm. be. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything like, bottom weight mm -hmm. with it at all. No, so. but they're super soft. Yeah, yeah, and lots of pretty colors. You'll mm -hmm. see. Next, we have crinkle, crinkle gauze. gauze. You know this what? Is, what? 
Megan Nielsen's new pattern would be really pretty out of this. Mm -hmm. Dove, the, the dove, dove top. Yeah, she just released with that. With those huge sleeves. Yeah, I can picture that. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah, this would, um, this would make a really nice top. Is a it's not sheer, like super crinkly, like you've no. seen some that are like. No, it's like just a really nice subtle texture to it. Yeah. And it's got like a paisley print, mm -hmm. again with that blue mm -hmm. and then the burgundies. I mm -hmm. like that combination together yeah. a lot. Yeah. Thanks. Crinkle gauze, right? Yeah. So corded Ooh. texture woven shirting. What do you think of this one, Abby? Probably I think not. for a man, <laughs> I'm picturing it a man, not where we live, uh -huh. but out west more okay like i feel like they probably wear this more like colorado okay Wyoming. i don't know our guys yeah. are more like kingdom maybe, yeah you know kind of classic pinstripe the colors are just really muted mm -hmm. and i don't know about the yeah. texture on it yeah it is a different texture it makes it really i don't know if i know stiff that i'm thinking about it if i pictured it as a men's shirt it's verging on like peachy pink is. yeah the mauve. It's mauve-ish. Maybe more than a woman's <laughs> shirt dress. What about shirt dress? Yeah, I mean, I something with a collar. Yeah, I don't know. This is probably my least favorite in the whole group, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. It's just not my fun, style. Yeah. Do you think it's the colors, or do you think it's the feel of it? Cause it's I like, think it's the feel. It almost feels like upholstery-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's that. <laughs> but one out of 39 is not, not that bad. You're not going to love everything. No. Bring on Shally. Yeah, I love this print so much. It's pretty coloring. Yeah, really, really pretty. Really pretty blues. It almost is like an e-cat kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. very similar. Mm -hmm. It is a little less sheer than some of the other ones. Yeah. So I think you could do a, a dress maybe with a little lining. Yeah. Yeah. A little light. And light. I, I love, I mean, I think that would be, that would take you down here. We could wear this now almost mm -hmm. all winter long into mm -hmm. spring. That yeah. would even transition really well in spring. Mm -hmm. So if you were looking for something to wear two seasons out of the year, I think this is a good yeah, option. Yeah, it's really pretty. It looks nice with your dark denim too. Yeah. I yeah. was actually looking at this, the next one. Oh yeah, with that, with the distressed chambray. chambray. Mm -hmm. That's so it has different. some nice distress yeah, into it. You can tell it's lighter lightly, in some places. Yeah, very lightly distressed. And almost has that those like striations, mm -hmm. is that the word? Yeah. Where it's like stripes. Yeah. yeah. Kind of sorta. Yeah, so it's a little not as soft as some other mm -hmm. chambrays, but I guess I'm comparing it to the rayon chambray that I've well, been sewing a ton with, which yeah. is super soft. Yeah, this is more of a cotton. Yeah, this is definitely more of a cotton, would make a really nice shirt just, dress. Yeah, shirt dress. Um I can see a little bit of light through it. Not a ton. Yeah. It would be great as a top, a mm -hmm. shirt dress, um, anything button up. Um, yeah, I can see this being really It'd versatile. It would probably be really easy to sew with too. It feels like it's just one of those yeah. easy cotton type yeah. fabrics that presses really nicely and sews really, really nicely. It would even be good, I think, for a romper if you wanted yes. to do a romper for spring. Yeah. It's cool. The distressing is mm -hmm. neat. It al it's almost like someone just barely touched it with a little mm -hmm. bit of bleach in some places. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. What's next? A heavyweight heavy flannel. flannel. How does that compare to our other, what we thought was heavyweight? How far back does it go? Here it is. But it's the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I feel like it's the same. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, very similar. Um, blues. Really nice blues. Mm -hmm. I would actually wear this one. I've I never made too. a flannel shirt because I'm just, I'm just scared of matching up the stripes oh, and the yeah. pocket. I don't know. I just, it's a, a lot for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never actually made one, but I have bought a couple uh -huh. <laughs> on clearance. But I really like the blues. I like the blues too. I would love to make a flannel shirt dress. I don't know, but to match up all those. Well, I think the ones across the center front are easier than you realize. It's just when you get into the sleeve and then if you wanted to do the pockets matching, that's when it gets tricky. Yeah. There's a lot of really great courses um, or tutorials on mm -hmm. how to do it. How to match things. Yeah, I think Colette has a really lack good one. I has one. But the good news is once you get it cut out, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like sewing anything else. Right, right. You just gotta. Yeah, you spend the time very cutting careful it. careful cutting. Yeah, but I like that one. Yeah. 
makes me feel like I it, might want to give it a try. It's Tar Heel Blue. If any of y'all are in North oh, Carolina, yeah. it says Tar Heel Blue. Yeah. So y'all should make something to wear to the football game. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Another French Terry. Yeah, this is <laughs> this what is she denim. calls denim looking. Yeah. So I could picture these out of a Hudson pants. One, we're for looking sure. for yeah. some denim to make some. some I do like pants. the denim you have. You're. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I like that. This is very like similar. This is yeah. Instant. Yeah. This is instant. really nice. So I, I did feel like the back was a little bit yeah, rough. As soft. Yeah. As some other ones I have. I have the felt. top. The top is nice. But you know what? It feels exactly like my Liberty French Terry. Okay. They're not soft on the back as some other ones either. So I think it would make a nice little sweater. Yeah. And too. it would be really cute if you made like a long sleeve shirt or dress mm -hmm. and then you intentionally folded up the cuff yeah, to show off that looks great I to like show that. off the mm -hmm. um so even if it was just like an elasticized waist mm -hmm. simple dress but mm -hmm. you had the sleeves with the cuffs mm -hmm. that would be yeah so that cute. would be really cute i like that okay so, so this is shibori looking um rayon jersey so it's not i don't know Really Do you know soft. what makes something shibori? I guess it's not dyed. It's printed right. to look like it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's printed to look tie dyed. Yeah. So you definitely know, got not. that shibori, shibori look to it. Feels really soft. Definitely thinner. So probably top t shirt. Yeah. Oh, um, what are definitely some of those? Is it too. Megan Nielsen that has the really drapey one? Yeah, you can use drapey fabric for hers, or you can use not drapey. Either would work. Great yeah. covers. Yeah. Yeah. Any kind of tea, long sleeve tea. So here's another one of the sweater knits in a really pretty blue mm -hmm. color. Yeah. I really like the different colorings in these. Yeah, the variegation. Yeah, variegation. Is that a word? Yeah, you're right. Variegated, I know, is a word, but I know variegation. I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting it count. <laughs> All right, we Poly, are at Polly yeah. Blouse Weight. You know who would love this is our friend Amber. Yes. She really would. That's totally her geometric mm -hmm. kind of, and her coloring. Yeah. yeah. So it's really nice. Just a little light shining through, barely any. Yeah. And the silky polyester blouse weight. So obviously, mm -hmm. any kind of blouse, um, any kind of gathered skirt, mm -hmm. something along those mm -hmm. lines. A Roscoe blouse. This would be mm -hmm. really nice for a Roscoe top. Or the True Bias one. Mm hmm. I, I made it. It has the half placket. <clears throat> Is that not true bias? Yeah. Oh, I hate when I can't No. Remember. Hey, June. Hey, June. Biscayne. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. A Biscayne blouse would be Yeah, that would be great. That. Yeah, any, any type of top would be perfect. Yeah. Cute. Okay. A another shirting. Dots. I love dots. Yeah. It was dot day. Last week. What does that even mean? National Dot Day. There's a national day for everything. For dots? There's probably a, a national day for off the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> off the yes, there was a dot day at school. Yeah. We celebrated. Oh. Um, they, everybody was supposed to wear dots. So this would have been perfect. I really like yeah. these dots too. I'm picky about my dot size. Yeah. And it's how not they very are. drapey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely so. shirting. Yeah. Definitely button up shirt. It's really all I can picture it as. Okay, another flannel. Flannel cotton shirting. So this one is definitely not as heavy as the other ones. Yeah. I like the colors of this one too. Yeah, though. this would be better for a shirt than the others. Yeah. I feel like the others are heavy. like almost coat weight. Yeah. You, I could picture maybe like the heavier ones as a cape, a real yeah. light cape. Right. Or a drapey coat. Exactly. Exactly. Nice. But this one is shirt definitely, weight. Definitely shirt weight. I you think mess. the other one would just be <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah. This looks nice. I like it. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of boyish yeah, with the blue and the manly. gray, but um, you could really dress it up real cute, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. So next we have a really pretty rayon crepe. Yeah, that is pretty. It's really pretty blues. blues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the colors. Nice Tulip floral. Mm -hmm. um, definitely on the sheer side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely on the sheer side. Um, so it would be, have to be a top. Yeah. Very lightweight, drapey. Mm -hmm. Very, very drapey. drapey. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. I like it. It's almost like spongy like. <laughs> it is a little yeah. bit spongy. It has a little, little bit of stretch it to does. it. It does. Yeah, it does have a little stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Or very print. vibrant. This is just a traditional. Suiting. Yeah. So obviously, any kind of pants. Yep. 
It would even make a great jacket. Mm -hmm. This is just like what you'd find in any souvenir yep. catalog. Um, but it's very nice. Yeah. It feels really good. This mm -hmm. is what I would expect to see in any of the, like, Banana Republic, mm -hmm. Ann Taylor. Yep. Um, the blue is, like, really light blue. That's mm -hmm. really pretty. Yeah. And then the, the double kind of two different kinds of stripes mm -hmm. is nice. Okay. Another rayon crepe. This one feels a lot different than the other one. I don't know why. It feels different to you a little bit. A little bit. It's not a ton. Yeah, this one almost has like a texture yeah, to it. Yeah, it does. Almost like the double gauze, the yeah. textured one. Yeah, it definitely has some texture. I love the scale of the floral mm -hmm. on this one. Yeah, I love a teeny, teeny. floral. Mm -hmm. And the purple is pretty bright. Like again, this it would is. be a good fall slash spring mm -hmm. fabric. Mm -hmm. Pretty lilac color and then like this pink. Uh-huh. Some gray. And then gray and black. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Definitely not as sheer as that other one. But still, yeah, on top. Yeah, and in the fall, you know, lining dresses in the fall. That's true. It's kind yeah. of not a bad idea since mm -hmm. it needs to be a little bit warmer, yeah. anyways. Another one of these sweater knits. Purplish, purplish, plummy. These go together? No, no, no. <laughs> no nice <don't>. try. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it matched any of this other stuff that we already went through, but no, it's too purple. Yeah. Versus like a plum. Yeah. So, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's my favorite one because I yeah. love purple. Yeah. But um, but yeah, these are really great. These are these would make lovely, comfortable. You can even make a sweaters hood, a hoodie out of that. And make it a little more fancy looking. Oh oh yeah, I guess you, you know? could make a hoodie out of that. Yeah. A really or lightweight a, a hoodie. Cowl neck. Cowl neck nice. would be beautiful yeah. out of that. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Or that's um. Good. Not the actual like turtleneck cowl neck, but the one where it just slightly drapes, mm -hmm. whatever that's mm -hmm. like a dropped neckline kind of. I don't know what it's called. Where you just have the. It does have a name. I know it has a name. Yeah. Where it's like that in yep. the front. Yep. That would be nice. Like too. the Myrtle. Isn't it the Clep Myrtle that's like that? Yeah. They have that neckline. I think Myrtle. Let's see. This is another Rayon Shally. Very pretty colors. Yeah. I don't know if we just got like a really good section of the yeah. fabric or not but these pinks and this brighter pink with the grays is so mm -hmm. pretty it is really pretty i like it yeah i hope that there's that much of that all throughout yeah, yeah. it's really gorgeous yeah she does really a good pretty. job on her site of showing you bigger yeah of the fabric too i mean and, and the straight. swatches are gigantic mm -hmm. compared to some others but gosh yeah this is that like is really pretty it doesn't even feel like i'm holding anything yeah <laughs> Did you see that? That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, it's really nice. So we have a French cherry. French cherry, obviously. This is what Abby picked for her portion of the block tour. Love it. Yeah. Love it a lot. Can't wait to share it with you. But yeah, it's a really nice French cherry. A lighter weight one. Mm -hmm. um, not super thick, but would work for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. so, I love it. Yeah, you said that this was one of the best French chairs you would ever. Yeah, it's gotten. amazing. It's got a little bit of a, a sheen to it too. Yeah, but and the dots are woven in. Yeah, they're woven in. They're not the they're cheap not painted all in dots, which don't love this. Yeah. So <laughs> it this is going they're to woven. last a long time. Yeah. Wash really well. Really, really pretty. Yeah. I'll be getting love some it. of that. Love it. I might be ordering more. Oh, good. <laughs> I was torn. I wanted this one too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love heathered. Heathered mm -hmm. also makes me feel cozy too. Yeah. And gray. Heathered and gray and French tip cherry. Combine that all together and it's just like match made in heaven. Yes. So this one's really nice. It feels similar to this one. Look, not the same weight. So is this not these? No. It's oh. different. So it's not, it's different than those. Mm -hmm. Oh, because this yep, is sweater, sweater knit and, and this is Terry. Terry. Got it, yep. got it, got it. Cool. This one, I had my eye on this one too. I love double knits mm -hmm. and I love textured double knits. And geometric. Um, geometric, creams and gray. Right. This one's really fun. I think this one could be like a cute um, fitted dress. Mm -hmm. Axle skirt. Yep. Yep. Morris blazer. It's stretchy enough, stretchy enough. I need to test the stretch. Remember, she puts the stretch on her website. Yeah. Does she? Oh, Michelle? Um, I think I remember. so. But there's also a, um, oh, you couldn't do it if you didn't have the fabric, though. Yeah. I think she does. She did, and I'm sure you could message her and ask. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this would be great. This also make a nice hoodie. Or even, like, a linden sweatshirt. Mm hmm Yeah. Lots, Lots of, of options mm -hmm. for that one. That looks like For sure. So, this is, 
plaid cotton shirting. Mm -hmm. Yes, a plaid cotton shirting. And I like this one a lot because yeah. it's gingham, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's a gingham print, but it's almost ombre. Mm -hmm. So you have lighter gray and then these four stripes. And then I imagine this is just repeating. Yeah, and but, it's and a nice then, rushed. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the colors going horizontally, you can see you have white squares, but then up here you have gray, gray. squares. So yeah, it's kind of nice. really well blended mm -hmm. color palette. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, this would make a really nice collared shirt, mm -hmm. a dress, I mean, you can make, it's gingham, you can make anything out of cotton, yeah. it's gingham looking, um, fabric, yeah, that might end up in my cart. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one. I'm talking too. myself into it. I like the, the, the bluish gray, yeah. it's like, I, yeah, that's a really nice one. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, uh, this was another one I had my eye on. Yeah, this looks like, this is a digitally printed ponty. Yep. I had thought about it as a Morris blazer. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be really cute because mm -hmm. her that for that pattern has to be really structured. Mm -hmm. um, so that one's neat. It's got. And like, you know what else this would be really cute as leggings. Yes, and like, that's what she said to me when to I said some, Morris. She's like, oh, I was thinking of it for leggings. That would be and cute. And then just like a black tunic on top, uh -huh. and these are leggings would be so cute. So the stylish. colors are very very muted. Yeah, they're muted. So it wouldn't be like face flowers on yeah. your legs mm -hmm. um but so yeah it would be great for that Perfect. it would be um it's kind of a it's like a ponty but i would say it's lighter weight than ponty yeah it mean? doesn't have that thick yeah pile of a ponty it's definitely a thinner very structured mm -hmm. um could make a cute fit skirt too yeah yeah, yeah. any of those kind of dresses um yeah. Some, like really great quality too. Some ponchos yeah. can be so cheap. No, this feels really yeah, good. That feels great. Another plaid. I guess this is like the time for plaid. Yeah, it if is. If you're ever going to wear Yeah, it. this one is a rayon shirting. Yeah. So it's can... drapier yeah. than the other one. It definitely has got that shifty rayon mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, it would be cute as those tops that you like to make that have the cut off and do the gathered bottom. Yeah. It would be cute as that. That would be cute. Great idea, Lindsay. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that a lot in Ready to Wear too. Uh -huh. That black and white type yep. of plaid. Yep. So That's fun. I like that. And I think this is probably the last sweater of these knit. sweater knits. Mm -hmm. This is a nice black and gray mm -hmm. one. Just as nice as all the others. Yep. I wonder if you could make a something with all four of them would that be weird kind of like you wanted to mix all those ginghams together <laughs> that you haven't done yet <laughs> i know i've got it will one day i'll see the perfect or i'll envision the perfect thing for that but yeah no it would be too strange to put all these yeah, together no. you would look silly yeah okay never mind <laughs> but so you just make four different four sweaters different yes. yes here is a textured double knit i love this one yes this one is very different than other double knits it's almost like a ponty. Mm -hmm. Very similar to a ponty, but it's got that textured feel to it. I love this one. Yeah. That it's not as stretchy fun. as the other floral ponty like mm -hmm. one that we mentioned. Yeah. Um, but I like it better than the other geometric. I like it, the print and the feel of it. It wasn't that far back, was it this one? I like it better than this one. If you have two double knits that are black and white, I think I. I well, I would make something completely different out of that than I would make out of that. Oh, what would you make out of this? I don't really know. Maybe, I don't know. It's very not, it's not very stretchy and comfy, cozy. I was thinking comfy, cozy. Because this, this one's one. quilted. -ish. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. more dressy something this mm -hmm. way. So some type of fitted dress, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, a lot of people in my work wear the wide leg geometric pants. Oh. I can picture somebody from work. Wearing something like this, I don't know if it's my. Yeah, it wouldn't be as drapey not. as theirs. Yeah, theirs are definitely drapier. I don't know. I really like it. Yeah, I got to think of something to make with that. Get down really here. All of these are, are pretty. These yeah. are the last two that we have. Yeah, this is a poly crepe, so it's got that textured mm -hmm. look to it. I'm surprised with how much you love birds that you don't also love feathers. I do love feathers. I just. I'm picky about my feathers for some reason. It can't, it has to be more of that abstract artsy kind of feather okay. versus like that di digitally uh -huh. printed fake looking one. I like see. I like this one. This one's yeah. got that good kind of artsy look to it. Yeah. Just like any feather. I do. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Nice and drapey. Very drapey. Great top. Yeah. It's totally see-through. Yes. 
100% see-through, but, um, but yeah, it's good. I imagine it also wouldn't be that hard to sew with. I don't think it's that shifty. Actually, it probably is. Well, no, I actually have sewn out of a poly crepe before. Um, I made a Roscoe blouse out of it, out of the birds. Um, and I was fearing that fabric and it was really easy to sew oh, okay, with. Good. It like just stuck together oh, okay, and good. of course a little more difficult to press, but not too bad. I, I really enjoyed sewing. I used to like run away from poly. I'm like, oh, poly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I've gotten a couple poly things and I really like sewing with them and they don't wrinkle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. It was really, really nice. This would be better for those pants. Except they'd be completely sheer. Well, you'd have to line them. Remember those pants I was wearing when I stopped by your house the other day? Yes. They're completely sheer. Oh. Uh, but they are lined, the top part black. And then the rest, but it's got like a thick print on top of the sheer, uh -huh. but the under part, it's sheer with that design on top. So maybe. Yeah. And then this one's nice too. Another double knit, double right? Double knit. Mm -hmm. yeah, More of an, like an Aztec type of? Yeah, definitely an Aztec type feel. And quilted looking. Mm -hmm. Quilted, yeah. That one's nice. Dress. I can picture this yeah. dress. Yeah, or um, the any kind of um, sweatshirt mm -hmm. or hoodie or any of those things would also be great. Yeah. I could see it as um, raglan sleeve mm -hmm. for cute. sure. Last one. This is a reversible double layer jersey knit. This is a lot of fun. This I is like fun. this one. So it's dots on one side and the stripes on the other. And it's like a ready-made match. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to find a pattern where you would use both sides of it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if anything, you could do the obvious things where you make a sweater with this as the body and this mm -hmm. as the sleeves or mm -hmm. vice versa. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do a cuff out mm -hmm. of this. Um, you could do, you know, a top out of this and then the cowl neck out of this. Mm -hmm. You know, you could take the parts and mix and match yeah. them. So those are some of the more obvious things that you can do with that. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. Yeah, I like that one. That's fun. Pretty. Yeah. Well, so that is what she sent us. Yes. 30. So exciting. I've been waiting for this day. Because <laughs> I, yes, yeah. yeah. If I love fall. We were talking about how much mm -hmm. we love fall, and so I was just so excited to see some new fall fabrics, and we didn't open it till yeah. this video, so it's been like, you know, like Christmas morning kind of feeling. Yeah. Like. What? Because, you <laughs> what know, she kind of goes out into the world yeah. and sources these things, yeah. and it's like, what is she going to come back gonna with? Come we back know with that we exciting. love her aesthetic, and we mm -hmm. love her taste level so mm -hmm. much um, that, I mean, we are, you saw, we are like about 10 of them yeah. that we would go <laughs> buy. Like, yeah. Put it in our stash yes. right away. So yes. I've been stalking her website too, seeing when mm -hmm. she, she's been slowly adding them. So I was yeah. <laughs> seeing when they're popping up, and she added there are more things than this. She's yes, got she's got suede got in there now. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot more sweater knits, a lot more sweater, um, a lot more double knits, right. texture double knits. Yeah, um, I feel like she's just been adding more and more mm -hmm. every day. So yeah. um, obviously, be sure to go check out her mm -hmm. site. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's doing $5 shipping all through September, which only gives you a couple more days. Mm -hmm. And I bet, I don't know for sure, but I bet there'll be some promotion in conjunction with the blog tour, yeah. which technically starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye on Instagram um, yeah. for that. See what everybody has sewn up with some of these fabrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the ones yeah. that people will be using. Yes. So of course we did too. Yeah, hopefully y'all yeah. found something that y'all really liked yeah. and you have to have. Yeah, let us know what you really loved out of the collection and what you're thinking about sewing with it. Yeah. Give us some ideas. We're obviously a little torn on what to do with what, so yeah. we'd love to hear about what you guys are thinking about sewing up with it. Yep. So we hope you loved the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next ones, especially since we're going to be posting what we made with the fabrics. Yeah, my blog tour video will be up in two days, okay. um, which I think means we'll have four videos up just this week alone, <laughs> which is <laughs> way more than we normally do. So hopefully y'all yes, don't get sick of us. a little busy. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot going on. Yeah, so stay tuned, guys. I hope you love what we sewed up with our fabrics. Mm -hmm. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.